why it's so important that as women, especially, that we don't neglect our own maturity. It is God's will for you to grow and mature. You're not supposed to look like you do at 20, at 40, both physically as well as emotionally. You're to be more mature, more beautiful inside, have more proven character, which is God's will. It's not necessarily God's will that you have a great marriage. We don't know that. You can't control that. But you can control your own growth levels in terms of what effort you put into helping yourself become all of the person that God created you to become. You can't control the rate of growth, but you can control whether you give yourself fertilizer and food and exercise and sleep and good thoughts and good support so that you can grow. And so many women tell themselves that it's selfish. And so I want to just answer some questions about this core strength. So CORE, remember, has four letters, C-O-R-E, and each one stands for a specific step of growth. The first, I'm courageously committed to truth. I am not going to pretend anymore that everything's fine when it's not, or I don't have a problem when I do. I'm going to be courageously committed to understanding what's going on inside of me and learning to deal with it. It's great, I can see what's going on inside of you, but I can't always see what's going on inside of me. And so the second step is I'm going to be open to the Holy Spirit who's going to show me what's going on inside of me. And he often shows us those things during adversity. Like when things aren't going well in your life, what's happening to you? Are you getting anxious? Are you getting stressed out? Are you losing your trust in God? Are you getting cruel and mean and retaliatory? That's your stuff. That's stuff that you can work on. God's showing you that. Can you be open to that and say, wow, I need to learn how to handle adversity better. I need to learn to get comfortable with being uncomfortable because when I get uncomfortable, I just shut down and withdraw. I need to learn to get comfortable with that so I can grow through that instead of letting that stop me from growing. And then the next step of core is R. I'm going to be responsible for myself and respectful to others without dishonoring myself. And so often we don't know how to handle something and so we just get we passively accept it, accept it, accept it until we don't anymore and we get angry and we blow up and that's the only way we set good boundaries is by blowing up and then we feel so guilty because we've disrespected another person and we've dishonored ourselves in the process and then we go back to being passive and accommodating. That's not what God wants for you. And so in this step, we're learning how to set boundaries. We're learning how to speak up for ourselves. We're learning when to speak up for ourselves. And then in the last step, uh, e, I will be empathic and compassionate without enabling. So how can I be strong and kind at the same time? That's really important to learn because so often what happens is we react. Something happens, we react. Something happens, we react. We don't learn how to respond appropriately out of that core strength. You know, I was just talking with my dad. I was visiting him in Chicago and he's 89 years old. And we we're talking about the importance of balance and how we practice balance. And you know, I'm getting older too. And so, um, he was saying, you know, I still have pretty good balance as long as I'm on level ground. But as soon as I start walking on rougher terrain, I feel like I'm going to lose my balance. And that's true of us too as Christians. You know, we can walk the Christian life as long as everything's going smooth. But as soon as terrain, toxic terrain starts coming our way, we lose our balance. But then that's where we have to be open and say, okay, where do I need to learn better balance? Not how did you put me in rougher terrain? How dare you make me walk in this rougher terrain? It's like, how do I learn to manage this rougher terrain and still stand upright in a good way, right? That's our learning part of what we have to do to grow. And then the last step of E is can staying compassionate, empathetic while we do that toward the people who are making our terrain rough, understanding that God's using this situation to mature us. And when it gets really rough and you can't keep your balance because we're not perfect, what do you need to do to take care of you? So here's a really good but gross example that I'll leave you with. We were in a phone call this week and a woman was saying, you know, oh, my husband's so, you know, he's so aggressive and he's berating me and he's criticizing me and he's, you know, and he's yelling at me and, you know, I'm just sitting there trying to be walking in core strength, trying to take it, meaning passivity is core strength, which isn't true, but she's trying to be the good Christian wife and being, you know, submissive and listening. And then she can't anymore. And then she can't, and then she erupts, you know, and she starts cursing at him. And, and of course, that's not core strength either, right? So then she runs to her bedroom, she feels horrible, all right? So I said, well, what would you have done if you realized as he was yelling at you that you got sick over dinner and you were gonna go vomit? You, like you he needed to vomit or maybe you had like the runs and you were, you sensed that in your body and you were trying to less listen to him, but you knew that your body was about to explode. Would you just sit there and wait till you explode all over yourself? 
dishonor yourself that way? Would you, would you allow that to happen to yourself? Or would you say, <coughs> conversation's over. I gotta go to the bathroom. Or I gotta take care of me. Conversation's over. I can't listen anymore. I'm getting sick. Right? You would do that. Any woman who is fairly mature would take care of herself in that moment. She wouldn't let herself physically lose control of her bowels or her vomit. But why emotionally, when you feel like you're about to vomit, are we letting ourselves just sit there like victims and not taking care of ourselves? Of course, we're going to get provoked and pushed to a point where we can't take it anymore. Why would you let yourself stay passive in that moment any more than you would let yourself stay passive if you needed to go to the bathroom and just do it all over yourself? You wouldn't. And you wouldn't in the same way emotionally. So yes, do we get to a place where we don't feel like we have any core strength? Yes. Then go do something to take care of you first so that you're in a better place so that you can handle yourself in this place better.